Welcome to Chase Talks, my name's Chase, broadcasting to you from Kaiba Corp headquarters. Now, in the last episode, Mr. Kaiba wasn't as happy as he could have been for how the testing with Beat Cop went. So you know what, we're going to go ahead and try it a second time and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and cut to one of our first battle of the day. I'll be our first battle of the day, let's hit him with a favor. Ooh, scissors. We got the Ash Blossom, that's pretty good. Who is he playing? Sky Strikers? That's interesting. Ooh, two collider chicks, that's not very good. Wait, can I send this to the graveyard? Can I send a collider check and then send this to send a sec to get a second collider check? Oof, that draw is bad too. All right, let's go ahead and normal summon this. Activate this to send a yellow martin to the graveyard. All right, let's go ahead and uh, activate this guy. Okay, I guess he just surrenders. You know, being able to use Butterfly to summon a second monster in my hand was just too much for Sky Strikers to take, apparently. Or maybe he just knew he was going to lose? I don't know, but I, I guess we pick up our first win of the day. Very weird. Very weird. I actually didn't think I was going to have Optimal. What I was going to do is I was going to use this. So I can special summon one Lunar Light monster from my hand. So I was going to use that to summon a second Kaleida Chick, and then use that Kaleida Chick to ditch like panther dance or something then i was going to use those two to go into tangy and i was going to use tangy to search out a um or no i'm sorry i was going to use tiger king to search out a tangy then i was going to use tangy to search out a tiger lunalight tiger uh but we didn't end up even need to get that far so i don't know how it would have turned out but i guess that he didn't have a way to stop us and we were just gonna win so i'm gonna go ahead and cut to win our second battle of the day how about our second battle of the day it's in with a paper no scissors again. Scissors day. Scissors on scissors on scissors. What is this hand? <laughs> I got literally all magic cards. Mathematician. Oh, he's got Orcus. So he's guarding a this is pure Orcus. We got Sky Strikers and then we got Orcus. That's it? That's it? That's all he's gonna do? Alright, let's activate Tangy. All right, now I can search out Tiger. Okay, now we can activate Foolish Burial Goods. And I can use that to send a Lunalite Perfume. Um, and then I can go ahead and Normal Summon this. Activate this ability to ditch our Yellow Martin. 
Let's activate this guy. Um. Let's activate this. Okay, now let's uh, special summon into our magical musketeer, because then I could use magical musketeer to get rid of his Galatea, and then that'll turn off his crescendo. That's fine. Okay, let's ditch our Panther Dancer. And then let's activate Lunalite Perfume uh, to send Lunalite Perfume. So let us add Lunalite Wolf. And then let's activate Lunalite Perfume to send a Tanky, which will let me send Butterfly. And now, we can go into our Underclock. Oh no, does he have a Nibiru too? Oh no, okay. Yeah, he's definitely thinking. Does he have a Nibiru? Oh, I thought... Alright, I'm confused what's going on. <laughs> I think it's like, is it not? I'm confused what's going on. And we go ahead and pick up our second one of the day. I don't know what was going on there in the middle. It was like... Was I just messing up? I thought it was like not letting me click on stuff for a little bit. I don't know what was going on there. That was weird. Uh, but we went ahead and picked up our <laughs> um, second win of the day. We beat Sky Strikers today. And we beat Norca's deck today. Today we are taking on the meta. And we still haven't gotten a chance to test out B-Cup. Oh, I set up at the beginning of the intro that we were going to get to test out B-Cop, and we haven't actually gotten to use B-Cop. But, you know, we did take down two meta decks, um, which is good. I don't know if Orgus, where Orgus is at in the meta right now, or Sky Striker. I mean, they're both kind of hurting a little bit, but at the very least, uh, we did pick up wins against both of them. So that means that Lunalite Orgus OTK, or not Lunalite Orgus, Lunalite OTK is clearly, you know, better than them in the meta, you know. Top five meta decks. This is clearly number four. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut to our third match of the day. Now we're in our third and final battle of the day. It's in with a paper. And remember, if you're liking this video, to go ahead and give this video a like. In the top right-hand corner, there is a link to the playlist where you can view all of our Let's Learn Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG content. And he's really thinking. He's like, what do I want to do? Do I want to do paper? Do I want to not do paper? To paper or not to paper? That is the question. Question on everybody's mind. Will he paper? Or will he paper? <laughs> Hello. Are you there? Hello, Mr. Opponent. Are you there? Oh, I guess I won. <laughs> Go second. <laughs> Woo! That was, it took a while. I was looking down when he went ahead and clicked it. Alright, let's see what he's playing. So far, this match going in slow mo. But it's sort of crazy that both our first two battles today, we ended up getting to face meta ish desks. And the only reason I say meta ish decks is because Kai Strager and Orcus have been a little weak lately, but 
Oh, he's playing Blue Eyes? He discarded an alternative. That must mean he already has an alternative. Man, been able to Ash Blossom, that alternative would have been great. Well, guess what, Blue Eyes? My boss monster has more attack. <laughs> That's it! What? That's it! Alright, well, I'm going to have to activate Foolish Burial Goods, and we're going to use Foolish Burial Goods to send a perfume. And then I'm going to activate this, which will let me uh, discard Butterfly. Oh, I didn't hit Activate? I thought I hit Activate. Let me discard... Do I want to discard Butterfly? You know what? I probably want to discard Yellow Martin. Bring out Kaleidoshik. Oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, wait, I can get a tanky. What am I, am I crazy? First off, let's activate this. <laughs> so that card doesn't accidentally do, get discarded. All right, I'm going to go ahead and send uh, Panther Dancer. And now let's activate this. Butterfly got discarded. It's all right. Man, we summoned a second wolf. And now I can activate this to bounce the wolf. And now I can go into Tanky. Where's he at? Tiger King to get Tanky is what I mean. I keep calling Tiger King Tanky. I don't think that's the first time I did that this episode. Be at this point, I can just win, right? I don't even think I need Tiger. And there we go! Big enough, our third and final win of the day. So today we've beaten Sky Strikers, we've beaten Orcus, we've beaten Blue Eyes. That was weird. That was he must have bricked so hard with his Blue Eyes deck to have been only able to get Maiden with Eyes of Blue. But to trade in alternative, that's never good when you got to trade in an alternative. I feel. Yeah, but I don't think. But Maiden with Eyes of Blue, I don't even think isn't that one of the bad ones? What's this one do? Uh. When this card is targeted for an attack, you negate the attack, and if you do, change the battle position of this card. Uh, then you can special summon one blue eyes white monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Yeah, this is a bad one, because this one has to be targeted for an effect, an attack. I mean, it couldn't activate its effect, because I used Kaleidochick. So Kaleidochick kind of countered it right there, but yeah, this is the bad one, because this is the one that has to be targeted for an attack to summon a blue eyes. This is one of the bad ones. Yep, uh, I guess, but that's what happens when you play the bad blue eyes card. Sometimes you brick on the bad blue eyes cards. <laughs> uh, but we didn't get to use beat cap again. Oh my gosh. Uh, I would keep playing and leave in episodes where I actually got to use beat cap's ability. But I, we played Sky Strikers and we played Orcus. This is a good... This is a good video for versus the meta. So you know what? I'm going to leave it in. I don't actually think I did the best commentary versus the Sky Strikers and the Orcus. I think my commentary was a little bit more interesting during this game. I don't know. I guess I'll be able to tell myself more in the post game uh, when I'm actually editing this video. But this is going to be the video. It's going to be versus the meta video. It's going to be the title. Or <laughs> Lunalite versus the meta. <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't get to play. If we would have gotten a Thunder Dragons as our last battle of the day. Or Pendulum. Mwah. It would have been perfect. I've actually been thinking about playing Pendulum. Uh, you know, this is kind of Pendulum deck. Maybe I could play a Lunalite Pendulum variant or just straight up play Pendulums. But I've been thinking about playing Pendulums. I like Pendulums as a mechanic. I know I'm in the minority. The majority of people hate Pendulums. But I like what Pendulums was trying to do. You know, it was trying to be able to 
bring it out and flood the field with um, XDs. Like, not really flood the field, but you're flooding the field with monsters in order to easily get into XZ monsters and uh, synchro monsters, what I feel like the purpose of it was. But I could be wrong, but that's what it always felt like it was to me. Uh, and then Link Monsters limits Pendulum, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So I might be doing that in the near future. I'm not really sure. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe so you don't miss another episode of Chase Talks. Until next time, this is Chase. Signing off!